Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of this new Chinese uh, GPS for the NASA Lite. It's the uh, M8N model, apparently, and uh, I'm just on my balcony at home, which means half of the sky is obscured by the building which is behind me, and it's uh, only able to see about 50% of the sky, and it's down low sitting on a metal barbecue, but the um, acquisition time is really good. Let me just plug in the power. You see that it's uh, about 40 seconds to get a home lock position and that's uh, with half of the sky shielded. What I'll do now is I'll just uh, disconnect and I'll plug in the uh, stock uh, NASA GPS and you'll see the difference. So this is part two of the video just using a stock NASA GPS unit in the same situation. I'll just plug in power. And to be honest, we'll be lucky if we do get a satellite lock in this position. I've never had a lot of luck with it with the um, stock GPS unit, which is why I was surprised how well the, uh, the Chinese unit worked. So by this time the other one had already uh, had a full home lock position. I'll just let it run for another minute just to make it obvious that it won't get a connection. So that's now coming up to two minutes with power and uh, it's just not even close to getting uh, more than three satellites as you can see by the red flashing light. Okay, we'll stop it there. I'll do a third test with the uh, Chinese GPS again, just for a comparison. So now I've got the Chinese GPS plugged in again and I'll just connect power. We'll see how long it takes to uh, get a satellite lock again. There you go, that was, uh, there it's recording the home position with those uh, rapid green flashes. That was about 30 seconds, so it's just fantastic. It's a really sensitive GPS, obviously. And uh, as I said, half the sky is uh, blocked from the view, so I'm sure in an open field it's going to be a lot better than that again. Thanks for watching.